Hey, what's up? I hope you're having a great day. It is a great day for Figma. They just released Variants. You probably know a little something about the Variants from their conference a while back, but for those who are not up to date with Figma news, Variants basically mean you have one button in your Assets panel, but that button has many different states and stuff you can mix and match and then adjust your interface. So now when you open your Assets Manager, you don't see like 300 buttons with different you know designs you just see one button but then you pick uh, styles that actually correspond to your design easy right it's gonna become more and more uh, clear as I go through this kind of tutorial you might ask yourself what the heck is this well this is my very cheap uh, top camera because I want to you know show you with pen and pencil so anyway uh, how it works. So basically you have property and property is a container for a variance. Remember that. So you can have variant one. You can have indefinite amount of variance in one property. But what is a property? Like how it applies to a real life situation? Let's take a button as an example. So when you think of button, you might think of, okay, we first have primary and secondary buttons, right? So let's write that names here. And what are these? Styles, types? I would maybe call it types. You can call them however you want. So this will actually mean that this property name, which you can actually write manually, it's not just generic property, which you will see in Figma's interface. You will see a little bit later how that looks. We can call it um, type. So in interface, you will have your instance of a button and on the right sa uh, side hand panel, you will see something called type and two options, primary and secondary. So you can just uh, quickly switch between those two. Uh, it might still sound a little bit scary and hard, but trust me, it's very simple. I just want to give you some theory without drowning in the interface because it's super confusing. I had to stop for a brief second and scratch my head and be like, hmm, how does that work? And then I took some, um, you know, I did some trial and error to see how it actually worked and, you know, figured it out. But anyway, let's go back to my paper. Now we have primary, secondary, but buttons also have different states like pressed or disabled, right? So we can add another property like collection group. Pressed. What else can it be? We can have variant three loading. Well, depends what kind of situations you have in your interface. You just figure out what kind of states you have. So what are these disabled, pressed and loading? Well, I would call them all with unified name states because states of a button. Okay, let's put states. So in interface, you can create something that's called states and has these three things. To be quite honest, I had a hard cut here at this point. I went to have some tacos um, and also my secondary light went off, so it's a little bit different image, but what can you do? We're gonna focus on Figma variants anyway, right? So let's immediately jump into Figma's interface and see what we have. Let's start with creating a small button. It's not a small, I just thought like, in the grand scheme of things, might be a small element my way through. Uh, let's put 16, 16, I don't know, we don't use this uh, that much in these videos, but okay, whatever. And let's style it a little bit, let's put 8, and then fill can be this beautiful Figma purple, and this can be beautiful white, and then let's call it a button. Okay, this is where fun starts. First, we need to create a component out of this thing, right? So now our button is a component, that's great. And now we are starting with variants. I'm gonna press plus and see what happens. 
And now we have two new symbols on the left in the layers panel, this little romb. And we have uh, variant 2 and then default, you know, things happen here. It's not just a component anymore. So if we go back um, to a parent, which is a button component, now we see something that's property 1, default and variant 2. If you remember, we talked about this with pen and paper. We're gonna make primary and secondary button. So first let's style this other one so it looks more like a secondary button. There. And uh, first what we're gonna do is rename default and variant 2 because we don't know what that means, right? So I'm gonna click on a variant. Now it's called default, but I'm gonna call it primary. This is where you change your variant name. Then I'm gonna click on the other one and call it secondary. Great. Uh, and then if I click on a parent, I'm still gonna see property one. So you can just click on this one and call it a type. Or like that. Now it's a lot more clear. Now you have a type and two options. Uh, what I'm gonna do is go to assets, drag this thing over here to test it a little bit. And then on the right panel, we have type and then two options. See, it works. Let's pretend we want to add disabled state for both. I'm gonna expand this bounding box because from documentation it seems that it's very important and I'm gonna use my shortcuts to drag it over here like that. And what happened now if we go to layers we got type 3, type 4, I don't know, like stuff happened. We need to rename again. Uh, first let's apply styles. I'm gonna put 50% opacity so it looks like disabled, right? And then I'm gonna click on this one. Well, this is not uh, type four, like variant that's called type four or some extra variant in this case. It's actually primary, right? So we are gonna hook it to primary one. And I'm gonna do the same for the secondary. I'm gonna just hook it over here. We're getting some um, issues over here because we have some name repetition. I'm gonna go to button and then what I'm gonna do is add new property and I'm gonna call it state. So we want to get rid of these errors and you know utilize state property. This is like a new collection of variants. So I'm gonna click on this one and it's not default state. I'm just gonna call it disabled. And the same for this one. And then if we go to a parent, we see that we have two types and two states. Let's try it out. Let's try secondary, disabled, works. Let's try primary, and it remains disabled because it understands that you're just changing one part of the whole schema, right? I'm just gonna show you one more thing that you need to know when it comes to variants. Uh, and I guess it might happen more often than not. If we delete the primary one, if we just like plain delete it, then you're gonna lose all the functionality you're hoping to have with variants. Now we have primary disabled, but we don't have primary default, which is like initial enabled state, right? If I click on this, I get whatever is, I guess, first in hierarchy when it comes to default, and that's the secondary. So you wanna always make sure that you have pairs. This is in short how to create a variant. I'm not gonna show you in this video how to convert existing stuff into variants. I think uh, I'm gonna do it in next video. This is excellent for those who are just starting with variants and they don't have this vast uh, design system filled with components that they need to convert. So I'm gonna leave it for next video to keep this as simple as possible because it's already quite confusing for everybody. I think we are done with uh, variants for today, right? I'm really happy Figma introduced this. What do you think? Are you happy also? We're gonna use them? Then another piece of information that's very important. I saw in my analytics that most of my viewers are not really subscribed. 
So I would be super, super happy if you would click on that subscribe button and show support so I can, you know, push a little bit more, make more tutorials because more people commenting, following, just, you know, creating a community, then it makes sense to publish more, right? I also have a podcast. You can find a link to it down there in description. We can connect on social media. Check that in description as well. And that's it for today. Chaski.